Hey guys, Jay, welcome back to Ruby JPD. Even less left off, we ended up going for a pub crawl with Raven, and we learned there was a bit more to her than we originally thought. That said, let's begin. Believe it or not, guys, something funny did happen to me while I was recording this before. I didn't realize until now that I actually wasn't recording the actual game itself, just the audio. So, I was a little embarrassed because I went to check OBS and I realized it was a black screen. That's when I realized that I actually turned off the... OBS recording screen for this game, and I was just embarrassed. <laughs> oh god, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's begin. Day 119. So, so that's yet another thing we got to do before our time limit. That being the end of the s s scholastic year of Be at Beacon. Granted, security at Beacon seems to be a joke, but we, but we can explore it properly what only as students, as outsides, it's going to be much more difficult. And there it is. What a mix match team of weirdos we got here. Well, one thing at a time. Right now, it's time for a toast. Well, students, I think it's only fair we dedicate this toast to the good doctor. To the good doctor, then. To the good doctor. And... Blah! God, this is disgusting! You know what they say? The best medicine always tastes disgusting. After all, it's not like kids cough medicine, which actually tastes surprisingly sweet. Sorry guys, just had a, had to, had a drink of my tea. Hmm, I figured it tastes less than optimal. Phew, there's like a part in my mouth. And everyone's vomiting! I love that term, like... If something tastes delicious, you say, wow, there's part of my mouth, and everyone's invited. And if it tastes foul, you say that, like vomiting or throwing up. It really is an interesting concept. I always did love that term. I might have forgotten the tasting sampling. Ooh, this is atrocious. I'm sort of think that may maybe the good doctor chose death and they're running out of time. Youch. Uh, anyway... We, we now have immunity to the Pyropsidian corruption. Our objective today is to find the route to the mining district, isn't it? Sure, once I get a taste... Oh, again. Oh, man. Blech. I can't... God, it must have tasted pretty foul. Once again, all the damage to the city has been repaired. Janara giveth, Janara taketh away. Just to be sure, you two aren't going to actually try and pass it. Pa pet her if we run into her again, are you? you? You mean we can't? But head demands it! Oh my god, you two are serious! Heh, <laughs> alright. We we do know she's dangerous, but now that Amber's learned how to control Pyro Obsidian, we can shut her down easily, no? Also, having to fight her and her monsters over and over again can get tiring after a while. I say we try and persuade her to stand down. With head pats? Nah, that's just what we want in return. <laughs> we promise not to damage the city in exchange. We get all the head pats we can give. Guys, first, that's stupid. Second, after the th thrashing we gave her last time, now she's going to show up and stay in one place long enough for us to parlay with her. Aw, don't be sad. Oh, God, you... S stop looking... Stop being sad about it. But... But... Head pats. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving before I break something. <laughs> Her face. I know, right? How long do you want to keep this keep this up? Until she sw sw swings by again. It should be any minute now. <laughs> oh god, those two are playing all of them like fiddles and it's hilarious to me. It seems to be a gate to the northern sim similar to the one that leads us to the mo into the market. Beyond that, I think there's the mining quarters you you're looking for. The map I, I explored would be would seem to indicate so. We need to look for now. What we need to look for now is the opening mechanism. It's not n near the door itself. I see. Um, Amber. I... I was wondering, if it's not too private, what is it? What is it you would like to do? 
I beg your pardon. Well, we've been discussing ways to help you. We've been looking for clues as to what happened to you. We managed to find a clue as to the whereabouts of your actual body. I was just wondering if it's what you you if it's what you yourself want to do. I I don't understand. She's here. You mean there she is. Chibi Salem. You got me, guys. She does look like a Chibi Salem. Like, if they ever did, like, bring back Ruby, Ch JP, Ruby Chibi again, this is what I think Saiyan would look like. You know, without the broomstick. Question is, though, how would they portray her? Would they portray her as, like, overly an overly comedic villain like Skeletor? Or would they just make her dead serious? I wouldn't really go for the first option. Like, make her a very, a very campy kind of villain. I think it would be fun to watch. Miss Jara, correct? Are you here to fight again? Regain. Sorry? I've come to bargain, okay? Good, good. For our deal, we demand head pats. And if not, well, we haven't thought that far ahead yet. I would require biscuits with my tea, though. Just according to plan. So, I guess we'll just start with the introductions. I already know all your names. There's a certain conversation to par parlaying, young miss. First is trying to be cordial as possible. Fine, but you go first. Sure. I'm Penny Paladina. This is Professor Peach. First name, Violet. This is Jacqueline B. Ivory, my team leader. Nice to meet you without metal entourage. This is my partner, Evelyn Demerot. Hi there. I love your hair. This is our friend, Tysonia, also Professor Peach's daughter. Still haven't, gone, still haven't forgotten you tried to rip me apart. And that's Kenji Dykabeus, Jack's partner and the last member of our team. Nice to meet you too, Janara. I'm Amber. No! Shoo! I've already told you to stay away! <laughs> well, that was fun. Ah, it seems like Amber really left an impression. Yeah, I don't think it was a very particularly good one by the sounds of things. Okay, if you can hear a weird sound, guys, in the background, that's probably the fan of my laptop. Because, good god, it can be loud when I play this game on this. Because I don't, because this laptop I'm using is not really spec for gaming, but it does, it does have its uses, particularly if it's visual novel gaming. <laughs> Your turn then. Is it Janara? My name is Janara, yes, but introductions are incomplete. In what way? I've learned your names. You haven't told me what you are and what you do what you do what you're doing here. Well, latter is, is a long story. For what? As for the what, we're going to be students and a teacher from the Hunter Academy of Beacon. A Hunter Academy. Also, I'm a former business heiress with a sister whose body swapped with someone else. Huh? Survived in encounter with a body snatching grim, and now I want to kill my cousin. You what? Mad scientist. Gender bending metal blob. Gyroid. A ghost. And I'm a four month old. And I'm only four months old, and I was born from a rock. Yeah, this definitely does sound like something strange, doesn't it? Stop making fun of me! You think I'll believe all that? We're not. Although, now that I hear about it all out loud, good gods, we're a bunch of weirdos. And we all have some kind of reason to, to be here in peak exploring. Exploring? So, that's what you're here for. Yes, we're actually trying to research the mines. It's our ultimate goal. The mines? Why would you ever want to go there in there? Another reason we should... Is there any reason we shouldn't? Is it some kind of lead? We it's the kind of only lead we have. They feel off. I've never gone, in, never gone there. In fact, I'm completely sealed off the mining quarters off from the rest of the city. The only entrance is through the gate. Which reminds me, how do you even 
come to this ca to be the caretaker of this city. I don't really know how to answer that. My first encounter of what my first memories of waking up in here, it was empty. Left to ruin with the icky field in place, then I found I could control the metal in it, so I fixed it. So I fixed it. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> because I had this notion that if I took care of the city and I kept intruders out, I could keep it. That's one fancy dollhouse. So that's why you've been fighting so hard, because you feel what would happen if you couldn't hold up your end. This city is all I have. I'm going to keep... And I was doing a pretty good job. More people have come here before you, but they never managed to come in. Also, some weird black and white creatures swing by every now and then. They're not affected by the field for some reason. Weird black... You don't mean the grit? You don't know what grim are? Is that what they're called? Then no, I do not. Anyway. Well, anyway, I think we have the perfect s solution to our conundrum. And what would that be? Just invite us in. Invite you? Right. Now we can come in, in our own. So are we intruders? I was born here though. Does that count? But if you invite us in, we become your guests. So no reason for you to try and keep us out anymore. And you promised us to destroy the city? Hunter's honor. Well, students. As long as you open up the mining quarters for us, we will have no reason to. We have a deal then. I'll open the gates right now and, and send you on your way. Yes, success! But I'm not letting you two pat my head. Oh god, I had almost forgot about that. Eh, I'm cool. You're a cute kid, but not interested. <laughs> oh, we play them all like goddamn fiddles. Um, well, good? Okay, that's it. Come with me. I bite my lower lip, trying hard to... Try hard to keep the laugh laughter in. God, it's so easy to trick these, these people sometimes. Start talking. Well, we had... We had noticed that we kept... We were pretty much being observed all the time. She could see and hear us anywhere. At the last time, she was pretty angry. No? There was a good chance she would double down and double down instead of... Ooh, hold on. Double down instead of being level about the whole situation. Your point being... What better way to make someone not look for, for a direct confrontation than to make it seem like you don't... You do not see take them seriously at all. How did you even catch on to his plan with just a look? I had younger siblings, remember? There's nothing kids hate more than being treated like kids at a certain age. Your incredible affinity to fills me with equal parts dread and apprehension. Is this what... Is this like a side effect of your semblance partner? Who knows? <laughs> Aw, don't be sick of the mud. It was effective, wasn't it? Oh god, this is not good. This is not good at all. Wiser! Kenshi? Bella? Boobs? You've got a lot of nerve. Not exactly. I had the utmost confidence you wouldn't be able to land a, lay a hand on me. I beg to differ. Want me to slug you in the face and stop, restart your memory? Want me to dislocate another shoulder? You said we weren't here to hurt anyone. Huh? Despite your insistence, I might add. Th that's... Anyway, it's fine now. That's it. Keep beating a buffoon. Do you hear the sound of footsteps? We've got four more people here. And, and there's just two of you. Indeed. That, that would be some good exercise. But as I said, we're not here to fight anyone. But, you, you, but you've been moving forward a bit too quickly. So it's time to... Prover a proverbial wrench in the works. Bella? Uh-oh. Whoa, they really bring the boom, don't they? What the hell are you doing? <coughs> Cutting off your only access to the mines, Kenshi. In a blaze of red and melodious mayhem. 
You crazy! This isn't your boss's property! Indeed, Jacqueline. And the fact that he gave me a clash, a blank check, a cash, bleh, a cart black to do, to do with it as we wish, should tell you everything you need to know. Stop destroying my city! Uh-oh. Janara, wait! Why is that we should leave now? Oh, not quite yet, Bella. Still one more thing to take care of. What? What? So fast. And what's the reason for this destruction if you keep fixing everything? Gah! What the hell? You're attacking a kid! Indeed, your body is much more resilient than a normal human. Like a Grimm's. But still not compared to a human body reinforced by Aura. You monster! She's just a little girl! Who tried to kill you more than one occasion? Sh shut it! She's on our side now! Ha ha ha! That, that thing isn't... Isn't able to... Be... A Blech, sorry guys. That thing isn't a able to offer be isn't able of being on anyone's side she's just a toy why is that enough i'm coming i'm coming gotta be carried away i guess so so again tongue tied there guys don't know what came over me it's been a while since i hit something defenseless look at how soft they can be you are a sick bastard you know that really sick in the head Ugh, that guy s sm smarm is insufferable. Everyone, Jar's vows are not good. Holy, I'm not supposed to bend that way. With just one hit? Jar may possess magic, but she doesn't have active aura field. She's no more defenseless against physical attacks than your average Ursa. We got to get her to the clinic. She's losing. Philology is diff different. Titania, Kenshi, give me a hand. Be careful. We can be careful. Don't worry. She looks so fragile. She's, a, she's in very bad condition. My old student didn't hold back at all. I knew the last time he was just playing around. But to think that... That bastard. As Neil told me, to survive all... This time, outside of the four kings of his on his own, he's a fully fledged hunter, or at least he's gotten the strength of one. If she hadn't gotten active aura, if she ha if she ain't got no active aura, can we jumpstart it like we did Tysia? Does it heal injuries? Her injuries are too severe for the rate at which aura can heal wounds. Also, if if, it, if physiology is very different in causing to. Penny scans should be more in common with Grim than just colors. Using aura may actually worsen the situation. That's a moot point. She needs surgery. S surgery here. The equipment is old but clean and working. We got plenty of tools and supplies, but without knowing how to knowing how her body works, we're pretty much going going in blind. We're not, Evelyn. I can take care of that. Tell me what what you're doing is is wrong or not. Adjust your aim. Miss Demroth, you means keeping up your sandwich through an entire surgery. You could take hours. The mental stress. I can handle it. I've handled way worse. Still, I doubt you have enough aura. W well. Don't worry about that. She will. It could work. Penny. Will you keep an eye on her vitals? Evelyn can guide us through the surgery. I can supply the aura. Just in case I have Tysia to be your main battery. And you'll have to tap into your own reserves as a last resort. Miss Ira will have to stand guard on her own. Only The only thing that worries me is that her blood, I guess... I doubt it can... I doubt we have any plasma and I don't think any human would send, would send her into shock. That's where my semblance comes in. Don't fret. Blood loss is the last least of our worries. Now let's prepare. We don't have much time. Well, I guess we're playing the doctor now. Hmm, this ain't good. 
Sorry for the delay. First coming, first time coming to this part of town, so it took us a while to get our bearings. And yet you're the ones who chose this place. Not me, my boss. So you're what? The messenger? Girl over here is the rest restless, hmm? Look at her tapping her foot. Second in command, really. That's not good enough. I'm sure if I'd be good enough for Ozpin. Don't do anything stupid. Are you threatening me? Are you disrespecting me? What is it you want? To collaborate, make sure that we can both achieve our objectives. Or we can get it in each other's way. Choice is yours. Collaborate, you say? Then start by telling me how you know that name. My boss's boss has a dealings with her. And, she, and he's still alive to tell the tale? Sort of. I know whose name they're referring to. We all know her and we all hate her or feel sorry for her in one way or another. I'm 99% sure we did it. Good job, everyone. Ah! I never want to do something like that ever again. Oh, God. I feel empty. That's all exhaustion. Don't move too fast until the Disney subsides, Titania. Passing, passing over or passing over the aura drain and then focus to not take too much from Tyson here while also keeping on on Evelyn's. I had to watch as Professor Peach could cut open a little girl and stitch her back together. I feel sick. I have to commend your, your mental force, you, Miss Demerot. We avoided more than a few close calls thanks to you. Um, Miss Demerot? Oh, Evelyn? Evelyn! Huh? What? Are you alright? You're standing completely still. And, uh, oh, um, I'm fine. Just never observed a person for this long before. It was pretty intense. It was. It was. You should go relax. Me and Miss Politina are enough now. Leave it to us. Gennaro is stable and I've collected enough data about her body to make a working algorithm for the machines. I will. Thanks, Professor Peach. Think I'll go lay down then. I'll go tell Jack we're finished. Need a ham getting onto a cock, Kenji? I'm not that cooked. Go up, Tyson here. Screw you. Hmm. Oh, oh god. It's time for that part of the game. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. This. Oh, what's going to eat you all of a sudden? That tickles. Oh. What? What is this? Why am I seeing this? Chapter 8. The Forest of Ab Bertito. Her conditions are stable. She's no longer in immense danger. Thank goodness. But this immediate worry is me. Especially since we can't move her. Indeed. And not just because of her injuries. What should we do? We can't leave her alone like this. Oh, hold on guys, one sec. Sorry, I just had an itch. On my nose. But we also can't stay away from Beacon for a prolonged period of time. Well, you can't. I can. I'm not a student. I was about to say that. Me and Titania and Miss Demerol are going to miss a couple of days of school. Heh. <laughs> Me? Me too? Oh yes, Miss Polit Miss Politi's presence is no longer necessary since she managed to reprogram the, the clinic's optical tools for Gennaro's vitals. But in case her condition worsens again, we're going to need your semblance again. At least for the following two days, we need to prepare for anything. Uh, of course. Yes, we can't leave anything to chance. I understand you may be a little tired, but it's... Think of it as a small vacation. There's really little chance of anything catastrophic happening. I'll raise you Glenda and tell her about the situation. Well, sort of. This is not going to be good. Evelyn? 
Are you okay? You've been acting kind of... Kind of off since last night. No, I'm... I'm fine. Just a bit tired. Are you sure? Positive. And anyway, we got enough of our place with Janara for you to worry about me as well. Now get. You've got... You got up... You got an absence to cover for me. All right, I'll trust you, Evelyn. Evelyn, but I'm checking on you each each evening, love. Ah, oh, goodbye, kiss. How sweet. It's just a couple of days. It can wait. I hope so. But since I played this game before, I already know what's gonna happen. Oh, what day is it? I'm not even telling me. I'm pretty sure it's Monday, so. Let's go to class. Event still to be added. Grimlock is cruised by five. What's even the use of that? I don't even know anymore. Hmm. Are you still worried about them? Yeah. Can't help. Can't help it. Sorry. I keep thinking, what if they suddenly decide to come back and finish the job? Professor Peach is strong, I guess, but we can't. We could. But could they defend themselves without us? That's probably not going to happen. If they wanted to com complete halt our advances, Wiser would have just killed Janara. He just wanted to slow us down. Advance, yes, but at a pace that they dictate. I think they've they they didn't foresee our involvement with Amber, which allows us to make a shorter work of Janara than they expected. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. But what is it? It's about Evelyn. What about carrots? She looked a bit off after the surgery. She said she was tired, but I don't know. She was using a semblance, right? Maybe she just saw something with her obs while observing Janara. Perhaps, but why couldn't she just tell us about it? Also, I have the impression that she wanted to get back to Beacon, but held off because they needed her. It's, po it's a possibility, but Karis is not stupid. I'm sure she has told us if she, there was something that ter that terrible or dangerous. I know, I know, but even if it's just something that makes her hurt, I don't like it. Also, I just realized something. What does it realize, Kenshi? Evelyn is not the kind of person who asks for help easily, isn't she? This is not good. Not good at all. <laughs> is something the matter? I was just thinking now. I would expect trouble, some resistance, more difficulties than what, what we're actually having. And the moment we we got some, we got some. It's from the most unlucky of sources, a completely unknown third parties, which with such weird requests too. The hell do they care about keeping the jeeps occupied for? The what? Ugh. T tell me that's not a meathead nickname for Team Jade. Rolls off the tongue just right, doesn't it? Okay, that's quite enough. Return to our main topic. I think it's time to cash in on that, on that favor. Uh-oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Alright, let's see what to do. Let's see. Anything to do in dormitories? Let's see. Huh. Well, I guess I could do the Raven thing. Let's see. So that day out with Raven was interesting. Time to report. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna like this. Still, this is not a conversation I'm looking forward to. I'm apprehensive about it, about how I feel about Raven as a person. She certainly is ruthless when it comes to what she wants, and yet she definitely cares about her daughter. Also, she has a code of honor. She's not as cra she's not a crazy maniac, but she's dangerous. Well, she is the queen of the bandits, so that goes without saying. And speaking of dangerous, I thought she had decided to try and keep Ruby out of everything. So, why is Ruby here? Simple, it's my room too. Mystery solved. Yeah, so you're okay with dragging her into this whole thing too? <sighs> yeah. What's good thing that my dad's been trying to get me to talk to him through Ruby? She's evolved already. Might as well explain. I guess there's something to do with the holes Rick Yang punched in the wall with her along 
and with Raven? Yeah, although I'll try and add a summary while I explain how the night out with Raven went. Night out with Raven? Long story, so... I can, I can say... I can say with close, complete certainty that your mother never wanted to leave you. Her reaction when you met was genuine. Ugh, I have no idea to feel about, about that. Wait, you mean Raven? But she did! Not because she wanted. Oh, another thing is that I got out of her as we talked is that she's prideful and she has a code of honor. So my theory is that your mother left because of promise she made. She gave her word and she would keep she would keep away from you. Most probably to your father. But but that doesn't make any sense. Dad was Dad was destroyed. He was so hurt that when she, she left and and that couldn't be. I know, which me which makes you think. Well, maybe just Raven was forced to leave you because of a promise she made to your father. Maybe Mr. Zhao Long was forced to ask your mother to leave. What the hell happened between the two of them? Wish I knew. You do? Other than the obvious fact that I care about you and hanging out with Raven isn't exactly healthy, my head was still pounding the morning after. Okay, I want to minimize the realization about the reason why she wasn't there as we grew up, but another question is why is she here now? That's a good question. Considering what I know of her so far, I don't think she would have ever broke her word. So maybe it's because the time for whatever promise she made ran out. Maybe. It's because I'm in Beacon now? If you got accepted into Higher Education Institute of, of Hunters, you're, by all intents and purposes, an, ad an adult. And that makes sense. If we think that the promise was to keep away from you would end when you became an adult, technically... That's also... That's also to explain why she seems more interested in you than me, though. You guess as good as mine, but maybe it's something to do with the fact that... Considering that you've told us about her reaction when you talked, I don't think Tai Yang was supported to keep the reason why she left you be left for you from you. Whatever she wanted to discuss with you, it requires you to know that growing up. And that leads her into spending time with my boyfriend instead of me, how exactly? I don't know. I guess that means I have to go out with her again. Ugh. Was it that bad? What did you do? Uh, it was terrible. She dragged me around. She, she dragged me around. What to see, like, all the veil. Show me all the places she used to go to when she was a student. Really? Yeah. And then she started telling me all about stuff about her past and her father. She did? Yeah, and about what she was doing now, with her life is like. And she made... And she made you go f go drink with her? Yeah, after she revealed, revealed to me that she never wanted to leave Yang. We both felt like drinking. But I don't think she drank too much. It was like... It was... Kenshi? Uh, oh, um, yeah? Considering that you've done a lot of things, I... I've always dreamed of doing, aka spending time with my mother, getting to learn about her life, and slash my life. Could you maybe make it sound a little like the wor- <clears throat> Maybe not make it sound like the worst thing in the world, for just one second? Oop, you really screwed up there, Kenji. Really, dude. I'm sorry, Young, that was, ins that was insensitive of me. It's fine. I- I'm sorry too. Was it that bad hanging out with her? Well, it's just that I don't like anything to do with like that because I'm forced to. Even if I have to admit that by the end I won't drink with her on my own. Also, in my defense, she's she's constantly looking for ways to mess with me. I feel affinity. I I think you'll have to take the blame for that, boyfriend. I can confirm that I have the instincts too, at times. If that's the case, I guess that makes it okay. Not in your jur jurisdiction, really, that I'm easily bullyable. 
Actually, I just wanted to imply that your reactions are to die for. But if you want to come out of the closet with that... Okay, that's it. I'm not telling you the full story today. See you next time. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. That's my line. They're definitely related. Oh, yeah. They're related, all right. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. But like us all, like, comment, and subscribe to Jeff. And I'm out of here. See ya.